Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the E46. Today, I will be going over the differences between your manual radiator and your automatic radiator and how you can use the automatic radiator in a manual car. Um, I have damaged my manual radiator in my accident, so I will have to be using the automatic radiator out of my parts car. Um, that's why I'm going over this video. First thing to note, the uh, automatics use a mechanical fan off the engine, whereas the manuals use an electric fan mounted to the radiator. Um, so instead of a fan here, we've got a shroud, and then we've got the electric fan here. And then the automatics also use an auxiliary electric fan um, mounted to the crossbar. We're not going to have to worry about that because we've got these out of the car. Um, so the first thing you have to do is pull off the shroud or the fan, depending on which one you're working on. It's really easy. There's one clip up here. Um, I already have it out. You just pry off the middle piece and then pry this off. And then you also have one bolt over here. You have to pull that out as well. So once you have those out, this whole thing will actually just slide up and out and off of the rad. Um, it is the same thing with the automatic. It's just a shroud instead of an entire fan. So I will get this one off and then I'll show you the next parts you need to take off because to do this, to use the automatic radiator in the manual car, you need to use a piece off of the manual. Okay, so with all the plastic off, um, we're gonna move on to what the difference between the two is. The radiators themselves are actually the same um, from what I can tell. I've studied them and they look almost identical. Um, the only difference really is this mounting plate here. Um, this is where the expansion tank would sit. It sits right up here. And then on the automatic, which is what this one is, it also has the trans cooler that sits right here. What you need to do is you need to use that plate from your manual on the automatic rad. Um, and it will be essentially just like a manual rad. Um, so to pull that off, it's pretty easy. I'll show you on this one, I've got a bit more light. Um, there's one bolt down here, right underneath where you see this blue little drain plug. Pull that out, I've already unscrewed it. And then there's also one more right up on the side here. This old plastic piece mounts to the side of the tank. Pull that out. And then you have to pry it up because there's a little overing here that kind of pull, holds this in place. So mine's already come apart, so it's really easy. So you just have to pry this up out of its place and then you can slide the whole thing up. It clips in down here and then it also uh, clips over the top part of the rod and you will have it out. So I'm gonna set them next to each other and you can see what the differences are. Um, this one here has the, um, the holes where coolant will flow to the extra box that will say here for your, which is your trans cooler. On the manual, that doesn't exist. So it's just kind of plastic. The, so what you have to do, you pull this off your automatic, take this, it slides in and mounts just the same way as it does on that one, because they are the same rod. Um, and then you're almost done. The only other thing you need to use is the drain plug. I will show you the difference between the drain plugs. This one here on the automatic is just a small little plug, whereas the manual one, pull it out, has a shaft on it with a seal. What that does is, um, I'm actually dripping coolant everywhere now, but what that does, that seal, here, let me just stop the coolant flow in there, is this hole on the automatic rad would flow, without this drain plug, it would flow coolant out towards where the, um, where the uh, trans cooler sits. This will seal right above that, and so no coolant will flow. Because as you see on your manual, um, they call this the expansion tank mounting bracket. I'm gonna put the parts numbers, the part numbers for these in the description. Um, you can see there's a hole there. And so if this wasn't there, um, if you didn't have this shaft on here, it would just leak coolant out here constantly because there's, it's open. So that's all it really is. So like if I, you'll see if I were to pull this off, um, pull that off, pull that so off. Here, I've now pulled off the automatic uh, mounting plate. You just, this slides in and mounts in in the same position. You just make sure like your little clips are in the right plastic spots. The top is clipped on and you know, your bolt holes and everything lined up. It takes a second to line it all up, but it ends up being in the same position where this goes into the same hole. And what that drain plug will do is it's gonna actually pull out this one. This is gonna seal it above that hole. And so when you actually do drain the coolant on your manual, when you have the, the manual uh, mounting plate on here, the coolant will actually come out of here. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I also looked up, as I said, I'm gonna put the part numbers for this, the part number for this in the description. I also looked up the expansion tanks because they do look slightly different on mine. 
Um, let me go grab them. So here are the expansion tanks. My manual one looks slightly different than my automatic. Um, the automatic doesn't have this little tab up here, but I looked it up online and they seem to only have one part number for the expansion tank. Uh, it's the same for both. So you should be able to use the automatic expansion tank with the manual plate. Um, the only difference um, for the mounting of the actual expansion tank is on the automatic plate. It's got a thermostat there where the manual doesn't need that. So, um, but it still all fits on the same. I've tested it. Um, that's about it. Uh, as I said, they're identical. It's just these mounting plates that are different. The only reason why mine looks a little different is I still have the AC condenser behind my, um, my automatic here. So anyway, let me know what you think. Um, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.